cancer is known, was known to invade nerves or migrate through nerve paths. And it was thought that it was uh, sort of a path of low resistance, so the tumor would spread using existing nerves and would, would migrate through. And we chose the prostate in part because the prostate was known to have uh, to be densely innervated. There's a lot of nerves in the prostate. And it was known that these nerves could uh, regulate the function of the prostate. So we, we asked whether these nerves would, would play a role in the tumor as well. Basically, you have two branches of the autonomic nervous system. There's a, f a first part that's uh, the sympathetic nervous system that's important for the uh, flight or fight uh, responses, uh, basically an aspect of, of, uh, of stress responses uh, that regulates the heart, regulates functions that allow you to do things in an emergency situation. And you have the other part that's a more relaxed nervous system. It's the parasympathetic nervous system that does basically, generally, the opposite. We wanted to know the function of these autonomic nerves in the prostate. And we were able, using um, drugs or using mice that were genetically deficient in, in genes that play a role in these, uh, in these uh, uh, signaling pathways, we were able to disable uh, these pathways and, and dissect the contribution of each part of the nervous system. So the study was published in the journal Science. And what we found is that there were two distinct roles for the autonomic nervous system. Uh, on one hand, the sympathetic nervous system was critical for the tumor to, to take, to form. Very, so the, the very early steps of uh, tumor formation. And on the other hand, the parasympathetic nervous system was playing a very important role for the migration uh, out of the prostate into lymph nodes and also metastasis in, in other tissues. So you had these two roles, one very early, uh, one very late. So that's what we found in the mouse model. But also we looked in, in human uh, uh, patients uh, in collaboration with Dr. Steve uh, Friedland uh, at Duke. Um, and they had a bank of, of prostate prostatectomy tissues where we looked at nerve densities in the tumor. So we found that there was a, a difference in the density of the fibers, whether the patients uh, did well or had good prognosis, and patients that have poor prognosis and did uh, uh, poorly. Uh, so those patients had actually higher densities of nerves. That means that possibly there are multiple targets to affect prostate cancers and targets that affect the sympathetic nervous system and targets that affect the parasympathetic nervous system. Blockers for both of these branches of the nervous system may have effects, either independently or maybe together. And maybe actually together they would have a more beneficial effect. So that remains to be uh, studied.